great, awesome. Okay, you can go ahead and put your hands down. Thank you so much. My name is Miss Jackie. I am one of the youth librarians at the Central Park Library. So thank you for joining me this morning for our uh, Tuesday morning story time. Today's um, subject is Groundhog Day. So today is Groundhog Day. It's always on February 2nd. And the reason why Groundhog Day is important is because there's a um, a little legend or a little saying that goes, if Poxitani Phil, which is a famous hedgehog, he will look like, I'm sorry, not a hedgehog, a groundhog, he'll look like this, right? If you see him, or if he comes up from his, um, waking up from his hibernation sleep, and he sees his shadow, he's going to go back down and go back to sleep, and then winter's going to be longer, right? So if he doesn't see his shadow, that means springtime is going to come sooner. So it's just a little saying for Groundhog's Day. Let's see here. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to also share with you guys, if you want to find out more um, about our free virtual events, go ahead and make sure you follow us on Facebook or Instagram. And we post a lot of stuff on YouTube as well. So make sure that you follow us there. Okay, so we're going to get started with our welcome song. And it is called Bread and Butter. Let me, it, I hopefully you guys have the song sheet. Thank you. Miss Rachel has just posted the song sheet. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and click on that link and it'll bring it up with all the lyrics. Okay, so we're going to start with our welcome song. Are you ready? This one is called Bread and Butter. And we're going to clap to it as well. Okay, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. So let's say hello quietly. Hello. Okay, good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! All right, let's try another one. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys are noticing, but they're like, opposites right we went slow and fast and quiet and loud let's do a couple more bread and butter marmalade and jam let's say hello as high as we can hello what's the opposite of high low bread and butter marmalade and jam let's say hello as low as we can hello all right, we have one more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello! Wave with our hands. All right. Thank you guys again for joining me. So we are going to learn about hibernation, right? So let me share my screen again, and I'm going to actually test your knowledge on hibernation. So hibernation, oops, let me get to the right slide. Here we go. We're going to test your knowledge. So why do animals hibernate? So animals hibernate, reptiles, and also insects, right? And the reason why they hibernate is because when they're out in the world and in the wild, it gets really cold during winter. And in order for them to survive, they need to um, kind of regulate their body heat, their breathing, and then also their metabolism, which is, you know, um, it regulates what they eat and what they drink. It slows down. So it allows them to be able to survive during the winter, right? Okay, so if you look at your screen right now, we have a picture of about seven, seven creatures, right? So I want you to guess which animals do not hibernate on this picture. All right, go ahead and type it in the chat. Let me know what you guys think. Let's see if you guys get it right. 
And then what animals do we see on the screen? We see, we see a bear. And then next to it, we see a cat. There's a ladybug, a dog, a horse, a skunk, and a hedgehog. So what do you guys think? Okay, some of you are right. You say cats don't, horses don't, dogs don't. Pretty good. I'll give you another five seconds to type it in. You guys are pretty good. Okay, so the right answer is that the animals that on the screen that do not hibernate are cats, horses, and dogs. So the rest of them do hibernate. Did you guys know that? So I'm sure you know bears hibernate. I didn't, I, when I was putting this together, I didn't know that skunks didn't, that skunks hibernated, and I didn't know that ladybugs hibernated. So that's really cool. Okay. Now let's see, we're gonna sing a song, and this is called Mr. Groundhog, and I happen to have my furry little friend, Mr. Groundhog here. So this is to the tune London Bridge, okay? We're gonna sing on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Mr. Groundhog down below, hops up through the fluffy snow. See his shadow, watch him go. Winter is here to stay. Okay, let's sing the next verse, ready? Mr. Groundhog down below, hops up through the fluffy snow. Wide awake, he wants to play. Spring is on its way. Let's sing that one more time. Mr. Groundhog down below, hops up through the fluffy snow. See his shadow, watch him go. Winter's here to stay. Mr. Groundhog down below, hops up through the fluffy snow. See his shadow, watch, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wide awake, he wants to play. Spring is on its way. Yay, Mr. Groundhog. So remember when I said that if Poxitani Phil sees his shadow, he's gonna go right, run hiding back into hibernation. But if he doesn't see his shadow, he's gonna stay awake and play. Okay. We have another song and this one's called Bears Are Sleeping and this is to the tune of Where Is Thumpkin? Let's see here. Okay, so on the count of three, you ready? One, two, three. Bears are sleeping, bears are sleeping in their cave, in their cave. Wonder when they'll wake up, wonder when they'll wake up in the spring, in the spring. What's another creature that hibernates? How about snakes? And where do snakes sleep? They sleep in holes. Okay, so ready? Snakes are sleeping, snakes are sleeping in their holes, in their holes. Wonder when they'll wake up, wonder when they'll wake up in the spring, in the spring. What's another creature that hibernates? Hmm. How about bats? See, so I have a little bat here and a little baby bat. And they also hibernate in a cave, right? Okay, let's sing about that. Bats are sleeping, bats are sleeping in their cave, in their cave. Wonder when they'll wake up, wonder when they'll wake up in the spring, in the spring. How about a hedgehog, right? Little hedgehog, he's also gonna be hibernating. Hedgehogs are sleeping, hedgehogs are sleeping in their nest, in their nest. Wonder when they'll wake up, wonder when they'll wake up in the spring, in the spring. Okay, now that we've sung about all those animals, I think it's gonna be time to wake them up. Are you ready? So we're gonna sing this really loud. Okay, on the count of three. Wake up animals, wake up animals. Spring is here, spring is here. No more sleeping, no more sleeping. Time to play. 
Time to play. Good job, everyone. Okay, what's next? We are going to have a book. Let me go ahead and pull that up so that you guys can see the pages. And this book is called Old Bear. And this one's kind of old, but it's really fun because it's about a bear that goes into hibernation and he's going to dream about um, all the different seasons and it's very, very colorful. All right, let's get started. By the time old bear fell asleep for the winter, it was snowing hard. There he is in his cave, all cozy. Soon he was dreaming. He dreamt that spring had come and he was a cub again. The flowers were as big as trees. He took a nap in a giant pink, pink crocus. Then he dreamed it was summer. The sun was a daisy and the leaves were butterflies. And we see lots of colors of like green and blue on this page. Part of the sky clouded over and it rained blueberries. Oh my goodness. Next, he dreamt of autumn. Everything was yellow and orange and brown, even the birds and the fish and the water. So we see lots of shades of orange and brown, just like when we see um, outside when it's fall, we see the trees turning colors. After that, he dreamed that winter was back. The world was covered in ice. It was night and the sky was blazing with stars of all colors. The cold went on forever. Brrr. Old Bear slept and dreamed and dreamed and slept. When he finally woke up, it seemed to him that no time had passed since he had fallen asleep. He yawned oh, and stretched. <sighs> he poked his head out of his den to see if it was still snowing. He blinked and blinked again. <gasps> he might not be able to believe what he sees, right? And when old bear walked out onto the beautiful spring day, it took him a minute to realize that he wasn't dreaming. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, so that is the end of our book. We are going to do a flannel board rhyme now, which is called Five Little Snowflakes. So you see the, um, the lyrics on the screen now, but I'm going to close this up so that you can see my flannel board, which I'm going to wheel out right here. Okay, I'm just going to angle this down so everybody can see better. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, so this is five little snowflakes, and this is going to help us with our counting skills. Can everybody count to five already? Okay, here we go. One little snowflake with nothing to do. Here's our first snowflake. Isn't that pretty? And what color is this? If you can see it, it's a blue snowflake. So one little snowflake with nothing to do. Along came another, and then there were two. So now we have one and two, and this one is pink. Three little snowflakes looking for some fun. Here's another snowflake. There it lands. And this one's orange. So now we have one, two, three. Four little snowflakes dancing a jive. Along came another. Here we go. And then there were five. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Along came another, and then there were five. Here's number five. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Five little snowflakes having so much fun. Then out came the sun. Here's the sun. He's so happy to be out. And then there were none. So what happens when, this, when the sun comes out? Do all the snowflakes melt? 
There they go, they melted away, but we still have a very happy son who's glad to be with us today, right? All right, good job Count, practicing your counting. Okay, next thing we have is a rhyme called Hedgehog, Hedgehog. And this is also gonna, I want you guys to stand up at home because you're gonna do some movement with this, okay? So make sure you have room to stretch and move. And I'm gonna have my little friend Hedgehog here to sing along or to do our rhyme with us, okay? Are you ready? So on the count of three, one, two, three. Hedgehog, hedgehog, turn around. Hedgehog, hedgehog, touch the ground. Hedgehog, hedgehog, reach up high. A hedgehog, hedgehog, touch the sky. So he's gonna try to touch my sky background. <laughs> hedgehog, hedgehog, touch your toes. Can he touch his toes? He's touching his little toe. Hedgehog, hedgehog. A uh, softly creep. He's gonna go away. Hedgehog, hedgehog, go to sleep. Now he's gonna sleep in his little nest, right? For hibernation. Good job, guys. Okay. Let's see. We have another book now. So let me go ahead and share my screen again. And we're gonna get to it. This one's called William's Winter Nap. So here we go, William's Winter Nap. So this is by Linda Ashman and pictures are by Chuck Gronick. Here we go. In a house on a hill that's tall and steep, there's a boy named William who's ready to sleep. He drinks his cocoa, climbs in bed. He fluffs the pillow beneath his head, then burrows down for a nice long nap but wakes to find the sound of a tap, tap, tap. Hmm, what could that be? Excuse me, but I've lost my way. I'm cold and tired. May I please stay? Will says, yes, I'll scooch a bit. There's room for two. I'm sure we'll fit. And what, what animal do you guys think that is? That is a chipmunk. And chipmunks also hibernate. The two climbed in and curl up tight. They yawn and say, good night, good night. It's quiet, just the clock's tick tock. But wait, what's that? A knock, knock, knock. Who else could be at the door? Oh, what a lovely cozy place. Could you spare a smidge of space? Will says, yes, we'll scooch a bit. There's room for three, I'm sure we'll fit. And what animal is that now? It looks like a porcupine. The three climb in and curl up tight. They yawn and say, good night, good night. It's peaceful in the sleepy room until that is the boom, boom, boom. What could that be now? My toes are numb, my tail is too. Mind if I come in with you? Will says, yes, we'll scooch a bit. There's room for four, I'm sure we'll fit. The four climb in and curl up tight. They yawn and say, good night, good night. And who was at the door that time? It looks like a hedgehog. I'm sorry, not a hedgehog, a groundhog. I keep getting those confused. Ping, ping, ping. Could that be rain? No, pebbles on the window pane? May I come in? I need some rest. I promise I'm a perfect guest. Will says, yes, we'll scooch a bit. There's room for five. I'm sure we'll fit. The five climb in and curl up tight. They yawn and say, good night, good night. And what was that? Looks like maybe a raccoon. The sound of snoring, soft and slow, then crunch, some footsteps in the snow. A note is slipped beneath the door. Do you have room for just one more? All right, who could be at the door this time? I'd rather not, too squished. No space, there's got to be some other place. We don't have room, hard to fit. 
No way, we can't consider it. Will says, if it's someone small, it might not be hard at all. He tugs the door to see who's there. Uh-oh, oh my, what now? What do we think it is? A bear! I saw your light on through the trees. I'm lonely, may I join you please? Bear shivers in the falling snow. I see no room, that's fine, I'll go. Oh, I'm so sad now. It's awfully cold. The snow, the ice, he'd keep us warm. He'd seem quite nice. They all say, wait, we'll scooch a bit. There's room for six. Somehow we'll fit. The six climb in and curl up tight. They yawn and say, good night, good night. Sweet dreams, my friend, says Will. Sleep tight. I'll see you in the warm spring light. And there's everybody all cozy, getting ready to go to sleep. And they'll wake up in the spring where it's nice and sunny. Yay! If you guys enjoyed that book at home, go ahead and give it a round of applause. Awesome. Okay, so we have another song, and this one's going to be called the Hibernation Song. Let me take this off my screen. Okay. And this song is to the tune of the wheels on the bus. All right. So here we go on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. The weather's getting cold, so bundle up, bundle up, bundle up. The, uh, <clears throat> the weather's getting cold, so bundle up. Winter is here. The bears in the cave are sleeping all the time, sleep all the time, sleep all the time. The bears in the cave sleep all the time, winter is here. The squirrels on the trees pick lots of nuts, lots of nuts, lots of nuts. The squirrels on the trees pick lots of nuts, winter is here. What else? How about frogs? Did you know that frogs and toes, they get kind of cozy in the mud? So they don't hibernate, but they get cozy, right? The frogs and the toes go deep in the mud, deep in the mud, deep in the mud. The frogs and the toes go deep in the mud. Winter is here. Okay. And our last line is about birds and geese. So do you guys know where the birds and geese go when it's time to hibernate? They're gonna go somewhere warmer, right? So get your wings ready, here we go. The ducks and the geese fly down south, fly down south, fly down south. The ducks and the geese fly down south. Winter is here. Good job, everyone. All right, so I hope you guys are learning lots about hibernation and winter and spring coming. What I have for you now is an animated book called Bear Snores On. So let me pull that up and then you might have to turn your sound up a little bit higher, but we shall see. Let's see here. Here we go. Okay. Can everybody hear that? Bear snores on. Sleeps a great brown bear. Cry, 
cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight. He sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl, and the night sounds growl. But the bear snores on. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluffed cold snow. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too damp, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. The coals pit pop and the wind doesn't stop. But the bear. Well, sorry, everyone. I think the internet slowed down. Let's see if it'll start again. But the bear. Hmm. Let me try to refresh this really quick. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. Oh, mouse, says hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Mouse sips, he slurps. Hair burps, big burps. But the bear snores on. A badger scuttles by. Sniff snuffs at the air. I smell yum yum. Perhaps we can share. I've brought honey nuts, Badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down, and dig in. And they nibble and they munch with a truth chop. But the bear snores on. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Mole mutters, what a night. A storm. Twitters Wren, and everybody clutters in the great bear's den. They toot and they titter, they chat and they chitter. But the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Hare stokes the fire. Mouse seasons stew. Then a small pepper fleck makes the bear he blows and he sneezes, and the whole crowd freezes, and the bear 
wakes up. There snarls and he snarls. There roars and he rumbles. There jumps and he stomps. There growls and he rumbles. You snuck in my lair and you've all had fun. But me, I was sleeping and I have had none. And he whimpers and he moans. He wails and he groans. And the bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss, look, see, we can pop more corn, we can brew more tea. There goes, there gobbles, he sighs with delight. <sighs> Then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, Bear can't sleep. But his friends snore on. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that book. Let me just that off okay so we have come to the end of story time today but before we go we are going to sing our goodbye song are you ready so this is called we clap goodbye and bears joining me to say goodbye to everyone okay and this is to the tune the farmer and the dell are you ready on one two and three we clap goodbye like this we clap goodbye like this with our friends at story time, we clap goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we wave goodbye like this. Before you go, everyone, I just wanted to remind you that on Thursday, we have Read With Me Live. So if you want to tune in for more um, stories, go ahead and come on Thursday at three o'clock. We'll be streaming live and our librarians will be sharing some of their favorite picture books with you. Also, we have a story time on Saturday and it is called What's the Weather? So that's gonna be 10.30 on this Saturday. Next Tuesday for our uh, normal story time, it's gonna be Be My Valentine themed. So that's gonna be lots of fun and that's gonna be with Miss Rachel. Okay, thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.